Hello and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's first show of the 2018-2019 athletic season, we'll check in with Bulldog football, volleyball, and women's soccer as they all get their season started. First, though, we'll start with Bulldog football and joined by assistant coach Tespa Smith. Coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Yeah, great to be here. Always good to be here talking about football. Obviously, uh, this past Thursday night, got off to a great start, 49-17 over East Stroudsburg, and nice to see the Bulldogs line up against somebody else after uh, a grueling three weeks of camp. Yeah, it was hot, you know, and a lot of new faces, a lot of unknowns um, that you weren't going to find out until the game. It was very, you know, um, refreshing to go out there and, you know, play the way we knew we were capable of playing with all these new faces. So it was just fun and all a great experience for our guys. You know, a great start to the season. Certainly a lot of guys on both sides of the ball seeing their first experience uh, here at the college level, at least at Ferris State. Oh, man. Uh, defensively, we lost 11 guys, you know, 11 starters. So, you know, for our guys is, you know, were they going to be able to deal with, you know, the pressure of, you know, short burdening all the, you know, the plays, you know, and can the, could they handle it? And I thought that they did a fantastic job. And, you know, we were very stifling, you know, um, defensively so it was fun to see and great to see our guys go around and fly around and make some plays and you know you know we came out healthy so great as we go to some of the highlights of the game uh, defense got the early stop and then great job by the offense of putting some points on the board uh, early in the first quarter well that's coach and East. you know you know we we're gonna go out there you know we're gonna have an explosive offense and that's exactly what we saw out there you know so it's uh, for us it's just hey let's make stops let's get the ball back to our offense because our offense is rolling you know, it's pretty hard to stop us. So we were able to get the ball back to our offense. And you know, I want to say we had seven possessions and six touchdowns. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, when we can go out there and execute like that offensively, you know, it's just really assuring, re reassuring for our defense to go out there and, and uh, keep playing and getting the ball back to those guys. Jay Rue Campbell making his first start here and a big touchdown throw to Deion Earls for the first points. Uh, yeah, it was good to see, you know, Jay Rue and, and all the quarterbacks. I mean, it was a great race um, for that starting job. And, uh, you know, Jay Rue got the nod and he went out there and showed why he was the starter. But, you know, kudos to those other guys because when they went in, they, they went out there and made some plays too. So, you know, we got, a, we got I think, three quarterbacks that I feel really good about at any given time to go out there. Uh, but Jay Rue just brings, you know, another dimension with his speed and his arm and uh, his energy. So it was fun to see. Two early touchdowns and then a big defensive play right there. Deshaun Thrower, a national champion on the basketball <laughs> floor and continues to, to make some great results. He's just, you know, he's just a uh, you know, magnet for, you know, big plays, whether it's on the basketball court in the football field. And, you know, he brings a dimension to our guys, you know, to, to play at that level, you know, and understand how to play at that level. So it's good for our guys on defense to, you know, understand where, how you got to elevate your game in order to get to where we want to get to. So. Obviously, offensively here, 650 yards in the game and able to spread the ball around to a number of different playmakers. Yeah, great. Uh, you know, Coach Denise does a great job of facilitating that offense. And not only that, but getting the ball around to, you know, different guys, you know. So, it's you know, for us, it's a nightmare to try to defend. But again, you know, it prepares us for when we play teams. You know, we've got to defend all. We're just prepared to defend all five skill on the field every time. So. Obviously, a lot of points uh, here uh, put up by the offense, 42 points uh, here in the first half, but play of the defense uh, really shown as well, uh, limited them to just under 300 yards for the night. Yeah, and like I said before, Rob, you know, we had a lot of uncertainties going into the game, you know, especially my guys up front. You know, we had four guys that played, you know, some snaps for us, but not a lot. So, you know, how are they going to handle, you know, their snap count going up? And I thought they did a fantastic job of controlling the line of scrimmage you know, which is our ultimate goal going in every game is control line of scrimmage and, you know, be menacing when the quarterback wants to drop back and pass. And I thought we did that. You know, I thought, you know, I thought in, the, in our back seven, our guys were flying around and knocking balls down and defending passes. Um, and, you know, it's just the beginning. It's just a process. We're not quite there yet, uh, but it's a good start to the season. And hopefully we can really, uh, you know, hit our groove here as the season goes on. 42 to 3 lead at halftime, and nice to get uh, a lot of these guys some reps uh, here in the second half. Yeah, it was uh, you know, interesting. We made that uh, point in our staff meeting on, on Monday that we played, I want to say, 63 different guys. You know, when you can play 63 guys, that's always a, a good thing. You know, that means that, you know, you're resting some of your other guys and you're building depth. How you build depth, get game experience. And we're able to get a lot of guys some significant game experience. And, you know, that's great as, you know, this, this 20 week process goes on. So. 49-17, the final score, and uh, nice to start off the season with a big win in front of a, a great crowd at home. Oh, it's awesome to see. I mean, a lot of energy when we came out there. It was a great day. 
Um, like you said, it was a great crowd, and you know, our guys feed off of that. So it was good to see that, and you know, like I said, we can uh, keep building off of this and keep getting good crowds at our games, and you know, be a season to remember in 2018. Obviously, a chance uh, to get some more fans uh, this week. A big game as you take on Finley, a battle of top 20 ranked teams. What have you seen uh, from the Oilers coming in? Well, I'm you know, just talking from uh, speaking from past experiences. They're going to be a physical team. You know, they return a four-year starter quarterback um, who's got a lot of weapons he can throw to in a very veteran offensive line. All five starters are back from last season, so you know, for us, it's going to be a you know, it's it's going to be a good test for us. You know, how are we going to be able to deal with their physicality and can we match their physicality? Can we control the line of scrimmage? And if we can do that up front, you know, then we can, you know, create a menacing pocket for that quarterback and hopefully force them to make some uh, tough plays. And, you know, the more we can get the ball back to our offense, the better position we're in to, you know, come out on top. How, how nice is it to have uh, the second game at home as well and starting up yeah. the year with two home games? Well, we went there the last two seasons, so it's good for the, um, the, that we got them here. You know, and uh, you know if it's as the energy is as good as it was uh, this past week, it should be a fun game for the Bulldogs. Obviously, uh, you're the defensive line coach. A couple guys that uh, you've coached in recent years making NFL 53-man uh, rosters: Zach Sealer and <laughs> Justin Zimmer. We're going to talk about what that means to have those guys uh, among the NFL guys that uh, have came from Ferris State. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just you when know, I you know just, I'm going into my fifth season, so I walked in here, and I walked in a Trevor Trove of talent. You know, and the culture that Coach Anise has built here has done a fantastic job of cultivating that talent. So for me, it's just, you know, you know, just watch them and, you know, you know, don't get in their way much and help them build their, you know, talent. And, you know, those two guys were hard workers. You know, they were self-motivated. So it's not much, you know, those guys lived in a weight room, you know, and, and th this is something they wanted, you know, and so. Uh, when you've got that hard work and dedication, it's going to pay off. And very, very happy to see it has paid off for both of those guys and all the guys, in fact, that are uh, on our roster. So it just, it's like I said, it's a testament to Coach Anissa's culture and uh, the testament to the hard work that those guys have put in, you know, when they come in here. So talk about the position <laughs> group uh, you have right now this year. Uh, a couple guys returning, but obviously uh, some new guys that saw some action this past yeah, year as well. Yeah, um, you know, we got Austin Edwards. He saw some significant snaps last year. Um, I think he's primed for a big year. Uh, he, he had a great off season. He had a great spring, and you know he's in phenomenal shape. Um, you know other kids that uh, we'll see a lot of action that played last year. Um, uh, Jamil Pollard. Um, he's our interior uh, defensive tackle, um, and Sam Giradat. He's another one. You know both of those guys had excellent off seasons, um, and uh, Austin Simpson's another kid that saw some snaps, uh, significant snaps last year. So those four guys. Are the guys are the key to our guys? You know their snap counts are going to go up, but we believe that they can be our anchor to that defensive line. And then we see some new faces. Our Parker Underwood saw some first-time action and did a fantastic job Thursday. Um, Trevor Tang is another kid that saw some action did a fantastic job. Um, and then some other guys, uh, Greg Leatherwood, I was able to get in some good time. Dan Perry was able to get in and get some uh, good snaps. Uh, Curtis Preston was another kid. Uh, so we were able to play 10 guys. Um, you know, Jordan Jones was another kid that came in. So if we can, you know, play those guys consistently and, you know, build that depth and their confidence as the season goes on, uh, you know, we'll be a really good, uh, formidable um, defensive line. Coach, congratulations again on the win, and uh, best of luck here as you host Finley Saturday night, 7 o'clock at Top Field. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.